Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hey all, glad you're back. Today I'm going to play with in the Strathmore Art Journal again. Uh, you know that I run a live class and um, to prepare that um, class I decided to do some birds. Uh, by the way, it's the visual journal from Strathmore and what I really like about it, it is the ring binding. I'm kind of struggling with the hardbound books. Anyway, back to my idea. Today I want to uh, do some birds with a little bit of uh, gouache, but I don't have really gouache paints, but I did see lately in a video and I'm sorry, I don't know which one, that you can actually mix watercolor with some white gouache or tempera, what we call it. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I don't use my really expensive uh, Daniel Smith, but I use like Jane Davenport. And that's a fun one. It's the Paul Rubens. It's the metallic ones. It's a decent brush, but not my most expensive either so I'm gonna need water and I'm gonna work with um, the Muchi markers and I'm really lucky that uh, I can find them here in Switzerland so that's what I use there are actually gel ink pens so any kind of gel ink pen would work so that's what I have planned so far I have made some sketches and I did refine them and have it as a PDF for you to download if you like so whatever you want so I did arrange them in size and the way I want it and I'm simply gonna use there's two ways how you can copy it you can either use one of those specific copy papers or like I usually do I just grab a pencil preferably a B type that's an H I have tons of pencil that's a B okay and I just scribble and then copy and the B uh, pencil would be better because it's darker okay now put them the way I want them and then it's just sim simply as going along the lines. So we're gonna make some folksy doodly birds. Nothing realistic here. And uh, by the way, if you feel like doing your own birds, that's okay too. gonna spray the watercolors a bit I'm gonna put the water over here and I'm actually gonna start right with what I have left here maybe add a little bit more that and just a tiny bit of white just to make the paint sort of more opaque and matte
adding a little bit of something to their head just because I can. Now for the body, I just changed the color a little bit up. And I think I'm gonna go with some orange for the tail and the beaks. So my birds are dry, I had a little boo-boo here, but oh well, I'm gonna live with it. Next, I'm gonna go with the Muji pen. They are not waterproof, so be careful. It is a, a 0 0.08 size and it's a dark blue. So I'm gonna outline first all my features and I'm gonna speed up this part as I did with other parts before. Now with the beads you have to be careful. One is just, I'm gonna zoom you in. Yeah, one you just go until the body starts. That's the lower, which is uh, from the back side. And the other, I forgot. <laughs> the other you're gonna start inside. And it's basically a line. With the curve at the end, just the curve, just the curve. Now on with the curve at the end, just the curve, just the curve. I think I'm gonna fix that a little bit. I decided to add a little bit of a background too, so, and I think I'm gonna go for a, a dark purplish color. It is not a, a watercolor paper, so it's not probably not working like a really nice watercolor paper, but I'm fine with that.
I decided to go over with the 0 0.5 uh, pen. I had the feeling that the 0 0.38 is not enough, giving me not enough definition. So I'm gonna go over all the birds again, but I don't make you watch. I just start here so that you can see what kind of difference it makes. I really like that better. So I'm gonna stop recording here and I will be back when I have outlined everything. Now my next step is um, adding some pattern to the board. So the thing is you have to be sure that it is really dry. It doesn't work if, if there is still wet paint. I also have a white jelly roll, it's a sakura, which wasn't included in those kind of gel pens, but I knew I wanted to use some white, so... I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you soon again. Take care.